Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Gospel Minute Live. I'm uh, Steve Toby, and uh, Kurt will be with us in just a minute. Well, today is the feast day of St. Stephen. And, uh, oh, what did I do? Oh, there it is. Okay, St. Stephen, the protomarker, martyr, and archdeacon. And his troparian, your head is crowned with a royal diadem because of the struggles you endured for Christ. God, O first of the martyrs to suffer, for when you rebuked the fury of the Jews, you saw your Savior at the Father's right hand. Always pray to him for our souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now let's say hello to Kurt. Hello, Kurt. Good evening, everyone. You too, Steve. I have, I, I have good news. Nancy, Nancy and Ken are here this evening. Oh, so nice. Yes, they well, are. Probably warmer in Alaska than it is here. <laughs> well, it's not but, too bad here. It's 25 degrees. Yeah, 32 here. Got up to 40-something, and we had a thaw. It'll all freeze overnight now. And Yeah, well, they're right along the coast, so it may be warmer. Yeah. Well, so... They, uh, they get that Pineapple Express going, she calls it. Pineapple Express, okay. Yeah. Well, I found a pencil drawing of uh, of your namesake, your uh, uh, Saint Stephen. Saint, here. Saint Stephen, right? And these uh, uh, very physical men holding up these rocks, and they're yeah. bigger than I thought they would be. But uh, you said they have lots of rocks over there, so they got lots of rocks. They're everywhere. We're thinking that uh, St. Paul might be the man with his hand on his head uh, holding the cloak. Uh, Could behind, be. Behind St. Stephen's head. It's hard to tell yeah. but, um, if that's, uh, you know, who that is. That, uh, it looks like the description, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, in, in tonight's uh, epistle, he's referred to as Saul. Yes, because he hasn't uh, had his uh, meeting on the road yet. And it is 33 degrees in Homer, Alaska, and it is snowing. So it is indeed warmer there than it is here. And warmer there than it is in Nashville. It's 32 here. we got to keep Nancy right up, getting, keeping us right up to date on the, uh, on the weather in Homer, Alaska. <laughs> Joy Manaski says, your hair looks kind of wild tonight. Oh, yeah, I think it's the other, yeah, there you go, on that side. There, there we you. go. <laughs> See? Oh, she sent me a nice birthday card, having, by the way. Having no hair is just a lot less maintenance. Yeah. That's nice, yeah. Well, she sent me a nice birthday card. Yeah, it got there in plenty of time, didn't it? Yes, it did. Well, yes, it the, did. And we are going to an Italian restaurant, the family and I, for my birthday. Okay. Yeah. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Yes. Do like, you like the breadsticks? I do. Oh, yes. And salad. A salad, right. <laughs> breadsticks okay. and salad. Why don't we uh, kick this show off and uh, say some prayers? Okay, let's do that. All right. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Illumine our hearts, O Master, who lovest mankind with the pure light of thy divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of thy gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of thy blessed commandments, that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well pleasing unto thee. For thou art the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory together with thy Father, who is from everlasting, and thine all-holy good and life-creating spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And our psalm for this evening is Psalm number 91. It's found on page 743 of your Orthodox Study Bible. If you're following along in another translation, please refer to Psalm number 92 for this evening. The notes for Psalm number 91 says it concerns the Sabbath day 
which speaks of rest. In this psalm, the rest is that of the soul. The Lord offers us this kind of rest. What then is our part in achieving such rest? Our part is to give thanks day and night for God's mercy and truth and to greatly rejoice in God's works, both creation and salvation. God the Father wrought these works by his two hands, that is, by his Son and his Holy Spirit. Amen. Psalm 91, a psalm of an ode for the Sabbath day. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your mercy in the morning and your truth at night. On the harp of ten strings with an ode on the lyre, you make me glad, O Lord, with your work, and I will greatly rejoice in the works of your hands. How magnificent are your works, O Lord! Your thoughts are exceedingly deep. A man without discernment shall not know these things, and a senseless man shall not understand them. When sinners grow like grass and all the workers of lawlessness have arrogant looks, it is so that they may be destroyed unto ages of ages. But you, O Lord, are most high forever. For behold, your enemies shall perish, and all who work lawlessness shall be scattered abroad. And my horn shall be exalted like the unicorn, and my old age shall be blessed with rich mercy. My eye looked upon my enemies, and my ear shall hear of evildoers who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall be multiplied like the cedar of Lebanon. Those planted in the house of the Lord shall blossom forth in the courts of our God. They shall still be increased in rich old age and shall be prospering so as to proclaim the Lord my God is upright and there is no wrongdoing in him. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. I'll move my post-it note tonight. Ah, 92 is a nice short psalm for tomorrow. Ooh. Okay. So well, we'll, we'll, ha we'll have uh, Jonathan read that then. Okay, so, yeah, somebody who's fortunate to read that. Well, our uh, epistle for this evening is uh, from the Acts of the Apostles, and uh, it's kind of a, a split-up uh, reading as we had this morning. It's chapter 6, verses 8 through 15, which is then followed directly by chapter 7, verses 1 through 5. Then we're going to flip a page and go over to chapter 7, verses 47 through 60. And those verses are found starting on page 1479 and then 1481 of our Orthodox Study Bible. Let us attend. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Then there arose some from what is called the synagogue of the freedmen, Cyrenians, Alexandrians, and those from Sicilia and Asia disputing with Stephen. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spoke. Then they secretly induced men to say, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and God. And he stirred up the people, the elders and the scribes, and they came upon him, seized him, and brought him to the council. They also set up false witnesses who said, This man does not cease to speak blasphemous words words against this holy place and the law. For we've heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and change the customs which Moses delivered to us. And all who sat in the council looked steadfastly at him, saw his face as the face of an angel. Then the high priest said, Are these things so? And he said, Brethren and fathers, listen to the glory of God appeared to our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia, before he dwelt in Haran, and said to him, Get out of your country and from your relatives and come to a land that I will show you. Then he came out of the land of the Chaldeans and dwelt in Haran, and from there, when his father was dead, he moved him to this land in which you now dwell. And God gave him no inheritance in it, not even enough to set his foot on. But even when Abraham had no child, he promised to give it to him for a possession and to his descendants after him. But Solomon built him a house. However, the Most High does not dwell in temples made with hands, as the prophet says. Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. 
What house will you build for me, says the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Has my hand not made all these things? You stiff-necked and uncircumcised in hearts and ears, you always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did. So do you, so do you. Which of the prophets did your fathers not persecute? And they killed those who foretold the coming of the just one, of whom you now have become the betrayers and murderers who have received the law by the direction of angels and have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart and they gnashed at him with their teeth. But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God and said, Look, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Then they cried out with a loud voice, stopped their ears and ran at him with one accord. And they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at the feet of a young man named Saul. And they stoned Stephen as he was calling on God and saying to the Lord Jesus, Receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And our gospel for this evening is taken from the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 21, verses 33 through 42, found on page 1310 of our Orthodox Study Bible. Let us attend. Hear another parable. There was a certain landowner who planted a vineyard and set a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it, built a tower, and he leased it to vine dressers and went into a far country. Now when the vintage time grew near, he sent his servants to the vine dressers that they might receive its fruit. And the vine dressers took his servants, beat one, killed one, and stoned another. Again he sent other servants, more than the first, and they did likewise to them. Then last of all he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the vine dressers saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and seize his inheritance. So they took him and cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. Therefore, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those vine dressers? They said to him, He will destroy those wicked men miserably and lease his vineyard to, an, to other vine dressers who will render to him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus said to them, Have you never heard in the scriptures? The stone which the builder rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The word of the Lord, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And if you'll turn to Luke chapter 20, it's on page 1405. Okay. Uh, there is an explanation of this parable. Uh, in the notes, verses uh, chapter 20, verses 9 through 16. Okay, it says in this parable, the man represents God the Father, and the vineyard refers to God's people. The vine dressers are the leaders of the Jews and trusted to care for the people. Each servant, sent by the owner, stands for an Old Testament prophet who comes to call the people back to God, while the beloved son refers to Christ himself. When the son is cast out of the vineyard to be killed, this is understood on two levels, that Jesus was killed outside Jerusalem and that Jesus was crucified by foreign soldiers, not by those of his own vineyard. The others who later received the vineyard are the Gentiles brought into the church. Amen. Yep, good explanation of that one. Very good, very clear. Okay, wow, who we got with us this evening? Well, let me scroll up here to the top, get my mouse in the right place. There we go. Right up in the front row, uh, center aisle, Helen Stevens. God bless. Good evening, Steve, Kurt, Jonathan, Gary, Christina, Robin, Amy, Mother Elizabeth, and everyone else here. Amen. Good evening to you, Helen. Uh, Katarina Salas, good evening. Prayers, please, for me and my mom. Everyone, thank you. I love you all. We love you too, Katarina. God bless you. Good to have you here. Anestis Nick, 
Happy name day, Steve. We wish you many years of health and happiness. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Yeah. Uh, Karen Korlanovich, good evening, Steve. Sweet prayer family. So glad to be with all of you. Not feeling good. I'm in need of your prayers. Thank you so much. Well, Lord, have mercy and uh, help Karen to feel better, we ask. Good to see you here, Karen. Um, Lena May, good evening, everyone. Good to see you. Um, Wilson Salviejo, good evening to you. Joanne Manaski, good evening. And she says, happy name day to you, Steve. Thank you. And Anita Dalton, hello, everyone. Please pray for me. I'm very sick with COVID. I probably won't be able to be on here for very long. Thank you all so much. Lord, we ask for the healing of all these people who have COVID. Uh, it's, it's incredible. Every day I'm talking yep. to people that uh, everybody's getting it. Um, so we hope that you feel better, Anita. Lord, have mercy. And then Katarina says, oh, I'm getting treatments for tomorrow for anxiety and epilepsy. I get meds to prayers when they work, please. That they work, please. Amen. We pray, pray for, for that. that. Nellie Cartvelli, good evening. Happy Names Day, Steve. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you, Nellie. Good, good to see you here. Joy Manaski, Steve, your hair looks kind of wild tonight. <laughs> oh, I think I read that one earlier. And then uh, Anna Gennaro, good evening, everyone. I hope you all had a good day. Again, happy names day, Steve. Bad rain, windstorm with flooding going on here. With reports of winds increasing, I might lose power. But we hope not. You stay safe, Anna. Lord have mercy. Um, Ruthie Johnson, hello from Hurricane West Virginia. I was spending the night here and traveling in the morning to Richmond, Virginia to visit Katie and my grandbabies. Well, that is, uh, that's very nice. Safe travels, traveling mercies, Ruthie, to you and uh, have a blessed visit with uh, your grandbabies and Katie, amen. Uh, Mary Saad, good evening to you. Wow, it just goes on forever. There we go, Mother Elizabeth, Saul and Paul and name change. Wasn't thinking how this might relate to Saul. We are reading about in the current Old Testament readings with that Saul. Okay. Um, blessed name day to Steve and all Stevens and Stephani, Stephanie's mother Elizabeth. Thank you. Let's see. Boy, it just go on to forever, doesn't it? It does. I think that's it. I mean, there's a lot of uh, comments, people comment. Mm -hmm. I don't read those, but... Uh, uh, that's everybody that's over here, to the best of my knowledge. Okay, over here in the annex. Jonathan Nichols, good evening, Steve, Kurt, and everyone. Christ is born, glorify him, amen. Joe Barbera, hello, Steve, and prayer group. Eliona Shanera, Christ is born, glorify him, amen. Good evening, wonderful prayer family. Blessings in the Lord and much love to you all. And there's Betty Hedicletes. Hello and good evening, everyone, and Merry Christmas. I haven't seen you white guys way too much lately. Anyways, it's all good. I hope everybody had a good, good Christmas. God bless. And there's Nancy and Ken. Good evening to you both. And Elioni, Steve, what day is your birthday? January 1st. January 1st. And let me see. Oh, Jonathan says Steve was born January 1st. And there's Robin and Pippin. Good evening, everyone, from Pippin and I. There we go. I think that covers it. Oh, Anna will be here a little later, as usual. And let me see here. Yeah, I guess that's about it. Okay. So, we can uh, get on with First Kingdoms. Yeah, chapter 29 tonight. Uh, that'll be on page uh, 350 of your Orthodox Study Bible. Short chapter. Uh, the topic is David rejected by the Philistines. So let's see what we can learn. All the encampments of the Philistines gathered at Aphek, and the Israelites encamped at Endor and Jezreel. And the campaigns of the Philistines passed in review by hundreds and by thousands. David and his men passed by in review at the rear with Ashish. Then the captains of the Philistines said, 
who are these passing by in review? And Asha said to the commander of the Philistines, is not David the servant of <clears throat> Saul, the king of Israel, the one who has been with us daily for the last two years? I have found no fault in him from the day he defected to me until today. But the commanders of the Philistines were grieved because of him. So they said to him, return the man to the place you appointed for him. Do not let him go with us into battle, for fear he become our adversary in the battle. For what better way could we, he have to reconcile himself to his Lord, if not with the heads of these men? Is this not David about whom they sing and dance his saying, Saul slew his thousands and David his ten thousands? Then Ishish called David and said to him, Surely as the Lord lives, you have been upright with me in the camp and good in my sight, and both your going out and your coming in. To this very day I have found no evil in you since the day of your coming to me. Nevertheless, you are not favored in the sight of the lords of the Philistines. Therefore, return now and go in peace, thus you shall not do evil in the sight of the lords of the Philistines. So David said to Ashish, But what have I done to you? And from the day I came up to you to this day, what in your servant have you found that I might not fight against the enemies of my lord the king? Then Ashish answered David, I know that you are good in my sight. Nevertheless, the commanders of the Philistines said, He shall not go up with us into the battle. Now rise up early in the morning, you and your servants who came with you, and go to the place I established for you. Do not, do not keep an evil thought in your heart, because you are good in my sight. And rise early in the morning, and depart at first light. So David arose early, and he and his men, to depart and to guard the land of the Philistines. The Philistines went up to battle at Jezreel. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And so, Steve, uh, we've got uh, two more chapters, and we're done with the yeah. First Kingdoms here. Well, we finish that this week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, those are our scriptures for tonight. Oh, Debbie Owen joined us. Good evening. Good evening, Deb, up there in Lyons, New York. Well, I think it's time for, for prayers, my friend. Okay, let's pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasury of good things, giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Now that the day hath come to a close, I thank thee, O Lord, and I ask that the evening with the night may be sinless. Grant this to me, O Savior, and save me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now that the day hath passed, I glorify thee, O Master, and I ask that the evening with the night may be without offense. Grant this to me, O Savior, and save me, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Now that the day hath run its course, I praise thee, O Holy One, and I ask that the evening with the night may be undisturbed. 
Grant this to me, O Savior, and save me. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, our God, if during this day I have sinned, whether in word or deed or thought, forgive me all, for thou art good and lovest mankind. Grant me peaceful and undisturbed sleep, and deliver me from all influence and temptation of the evil one. Raise me up again in proper time, that I may glorify thee, for thou art blessed with thine only begotten Son and thine all Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things, visible and invisible and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O Christ our God, who at all times and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, who are long-suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who caused all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Encompass us with the holy angels, that guided and guarded by them we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory, for thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Give us a blessing, Steve, please. May the Lord, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Well, thank you, my friend. And my Karen friend. Kalinovich says, let's pray for all suffering from the snowstorms and especially those who have passed away and their loved ones. Amen. May their memory be eternal. Amen. Now, this, this storm is blamed for 50 deaths here in the United States. No, and so. 29 of them were just over here in Erie County, just about 90 miles from here. So they got hit hard. Yep. Okay, well, thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow night for our Bible study. And we're picking it up tomorrow night, Chapter 3 of St. John's Gospel. And we'll be starting at, St. Ignatius says, we'll be starting at verse 22. Chapter okay. 3, verse 22. Then Ignatius says, And I am not going to argue with him. Okay. <laughs> All right. God bless everyone. Have a good God evening. bless you, my friend. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay. So this is when we pray for each other, my friends. And, uh, um, Lord, we pray for uh, Anita Dalton and her husband, David. We pray for them, Lord. They're suffering from the COVID-19. We pray that you heal them. Amen. A full recovery. And by the way, Anita also asked to pray for Robert and for Steve. They each have cancer, so we pray, dear Lord, for healing for each of them. Amen. 
And, Lord, we pray for our sister Dottie Thomas. And uh, we pray, Lord, for that you have mercy on her soul. And we pray for her son, Ben, and her granddaughter, Sarah, for healings. We pray for Ed Namoff. We pray for his health and a successful uh, procedure on January 5th. We pray for his wife, that you relieve her of her pain. We pray for that, a lot of back pains. We pray for Dmitry Baskovsky, that you heal and strengthen his heart. We pray for our sister Mary Saad and her children, Lord. Keep them healthy, protect them. We pray for that. We pray for uh, Mary's sister, uh, Aunt Tina, for Aunt Tina, Lord, whose cancer is spread. And Lord, we pray for uh, healing for her. We pray for that. We pray for Mary's sister. We pray for Leah, for healing from those stomach ulcers. And we pray that Andy comes to you in faith. And Lord, we pray for Katerina at Salas, her mother and father. We pray for their health and healings for each of them and relief from their pain and sufferings. We pray for our brother and sister out there in Homer, Alaska, Ken and Nancy Klein, Lord. We pray to your Lord for their health and that you protect them. We pray for especially, Lord, for Ken's mother, Mary Alice, and his brother, Glenn. We pray for them, Lord. They each have passed away very recently. And Lord, we pray that they have found eternal rest with you. And Lord, we pray that you comfort and console uh, that family. We pray for that. Amen. Well, Lord, we also pray for uh, Ken and Nancy's children, Lydia and Darius. We pray that they come home in faith to you. And we pray that you keep them healthy and safe. We pray for Christina Metz, who's recovering from cancer, Lord, and we thank you for that. We do. Thank you. And Lord, we pray for Anna Gennaro out there in Coopville, Washington, along with her daughter, Melissa, Melissa's husband, Daniel. We pray that he comes home in faith to you. And we pray for Melissa and Daniel's children. We pray for this family, Lord. Keep them all healthy and safe. We pray for that. We pray, dear Lord, for Anna's uh, brother, Joseph. We pray for him. We pray for the health of Catherine. We pray for Vivian and Philip. They each are in remission from cancer. And we thank you for that. Amen. And, uh, Lord, we pray for uh, Stephanie, for a miracle healing for Stephanie, that you heal her of her cancer. Amen. We pray for our brother Joe Barbera, for his health and a healing for him. And we pray for his sister and brother-in-law, Janice and Jean. We pray for their health and we pray for Bud. That's, uh, that's Joe's brother, Lord, and who's fallen asleep. And we pray that he has found eternal rest with you. And we pray for Bud's wife, Loretta, that you comfort and console her and keep her in good health. We pray for David Fox, we pray for his wife, and we pray for his wife's uh, cousin, Vina. We pray for them for their health, Lord. Da David asks to pray for Daniel, a um, friend of his who uh, needs your help, Lord. He's uh, sort of a mixed up young man, emotional troubles, and we pray that you heal him and send him the Holy Spirit to help him. We pray for that. We also pray for Damien and his wife. For their health, we pray for David's Aunt Sylvia, for her health and a healing for her. And we pray for Patty. Uh, we pray for her health. She's recovering from a stroke. We pray for Wilson Salviejo for his health, and we pray uh, for success in his studies. We also pray for his mother, Gregoria, for his brother, Donald, for his nephews, Ken and Kyer, for his sister-in-law, Rochelle, for his Aunt Rose, and for his mother's caregiver, Stella. We pray that you protect them and keep them safe from all harm, sickness, and disease. Amen. Well, Lord, we also pray for our brother, Nick Salvador. We pray for his health and healing for him. He asks us to pray for Debbie, that she remains cancer-free. We pray for the health of uh, uh, Francisco and Judy. And we pray for the health of Nick's mother and for his two brothers. We pray for them, Lord. Keep them healthy. And also, Lord, keep Murray and Macy healthy also. We pray for Luke. Um, Nick asks to pray for Luke for success in his studies at seminary. We pray for Michael. We pray for healing for Isaac, Susan, Dugan, and Minor. They each have uh, serious health conditions, Lord. We pray for healing for each of them. We pray for Jay Russell, and uh, he asks to pray for little Jackson. Lord, we pray that you keep him, little, you keep little Jackson uh, cancer-free, Lord. He's been cancer-free now for three years. Thank you. Now we pray for Elijah and Collier. Two young boys who suffer from cancer, we pray that you heal them as you did Jackson. Lord, we pray for our sister over in the UK, Claire Routing. Several health conditions, including cancer, Lord. We pray for a miracle healing for her and that you ease her pain and suffering. We pray for Eleone Shanera, her husband, and their children. Keep them all healthy and strong. And we pray for Eleone asks to pray for little Kaylin, little girl, baby girl. Um, and uh, she's having problems, oxygen problems in her, 
So we pray that you heal her, Lord. Amen. She's on oxygen at home. We pray for Deborah Goodall. We pray for her children and her grandchildren, all 11 of them, Lord. Keep them all healthy. We pray for Kristen. Kristen, you healed from thyroid cancer. We pray that she remains cancer-free. And, Lord, uh, Deborah has a loved one who suffers from an addiction. And, Lord, we pray that uh, you send him the Holy Spirit to help him and guide him and give him strength in his struggle. We pray for Mother Elizabeth. We pray for her health. We pray for her ministry and her family and those that she is praying for. Lord, we pray for uh, Connie DeVados. We pray for her, Lord. Uh, we pray um, for her health. And Lord, uh, we pray for a healing for her family. We pray that her children and her grandchildren come home in faith to you through the Orthodox Church. We pray for that. We also pray for the health and a healing for Evangelina and a return to her ministry. We pray for the health of Jeff, Kathy, Je Jeannie, Maria, and Nancy, Lord. And we pray for a miracle healing for a little Enrique, Lord. And we pray for uh, Enrique's family, that you give them courage and strength and hope. We pray for that. Well, Lord, we pray for our little sister, Nellie Cartvelli, down there in New York City. We pray for her, Lord. Keep her healthy, keep her safe, and keep her right here with us. We pray for that. We pray for uh, her eyes, that you heal and strengthen her eyes, eyes and vision, Lord. We pray for that. We pray for her friend Cotney over in Germany and for his health. And we pray for Georgie and Lavani. They both suffer from uh, brain cancer, Lord. And we pray for healings for each of them. And, uh, Lord, we pray for our friend Stel Yo, that you keep him safe and protect him and, uh, and his job. We pray for that. We pray to your Lord for his special intentions, his family. We pray for his marriage with Sultana. We pray that it remains strong. We pray for uh, Sultana's family. We pray for their health and well-being and that they come home in faith to you. We pray for that. We pray for our sister O Anna and her daughter Maria and the whole family, Lord. We ask for the, that you keep them healthy, protect them, and that you give them your peace. Amen. Well, Lord, our sister, um, before we go there, you know, Robin Armstrong alerted me and asked for prayers for a little boy from her parish. Um, name is Gary, and uh, nine years old. And uh, they discovered a, uh, a brain, brain tumor. And he went into surgery yesterday. He's recover, recovering now, and apparently everything went well during the surgery. So, Lord, we pray for little Gary that uh, he has a full recovery from that surgery and that he is healed. We pray for that. Amen. Now, Lord, our sister Marcia, who's fallen asleep, and we pray that she's with you. Well, Lord, uh, she asked to pray for her family. So we pray for her daughters, um, Rachel and Angela. We pray for her son, Evan, and we pray for Evan's wife, Mila, and we pray for uh, Marcia's husband, Wayne. We pray for this family, Lord. We pray for their health. We pray that you protect them, and we pray that they stay strong in their family bond. We pray for that. And, Lord, we pray. Marcia is asked to pray for Paul, Steve, Rick, TJ, and Chris. They each have or had cancer, and, Lord, we pray that you make them cancer-free. Aliona Shanera asked, uh, asked us to pray for Tatiana and Abel. We pray that you make them cancer-free. And, Lord, we pray for John, Mark, and Lauren. We pray for their health and that they grow in faith in you. We pray for Nicole for her health. We pray for Alioni's niece, Joanne, who has cancer, Lord. We pray for a healing for him or her. We pray for Michael for his health. We pray for John, Stephanie, and Carol. And, Lord, we pray for Kim and Lindsay. Kim and Lindsay each have heart conditions, Lord, and we pray that you strengthen and heal their hearts. We pray for Lindsay's husband, William. For his health, we pray for Tim, who has cancer, and we pray for Tim's wife, Marilyn, who had cancer. You healed her, and we pray that she remains cancer-free. Well, Lord, Kurt Lytle, our brother, asks to pray for the health of Holly, Paul Gilbert, Jason Phillips, Curry Terry Rogers, and Greg Webster. We pray for them, Lord, for their health. We also pray for uh, Sherry Jackson, Michael Diamond, and Bruce Mahan for their health. And, Lord, we pray for... Uh, Barbara Kaiser, who has cancer, but boy, uh, Lord, it 
the last news we got, everything's going well and her treatments are really going well. So we pray for a full recovery for Barbara Kaiser. We pray for John Abbas and Lord, we thank you. John Abbas has been declared cancer free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for healing him. Well, Kurt also asked to pray for Deacon Michael Hyatt. We pray that you heal and strengthen his heart after his heart attack. We pray for a full recovery, and it's going really well for Mark Myers, who had that serious surgery some time ago. We pray for a full recovery for him. And, Lord, we pray for Betty Baird. We pray for her health, Lord, and we pray that she remains cancer-free after you've healed her. We pray for Kurt's daughters, Kristen, Rachel, and Nicole. We pray for Kristen's husband, Brandon. We pray for these young people, Lord, that you keep them healthy, keep them safe, protect them, and we pray that they grow in faith in you. Now, Lord, we pray for our brother, Kurt. We pray, dear Lord, that you keep him healthy, protect him, and keep him safe, and keep him right here with us. And uh, Kurt also asks to pray for the health of Katie, Jim Parsons, Father Benedict, and the monks of the Holy Cross Monastery. Well, Lord, we pray for our sister, Ruthie Johnson. We pray for her, Lord. Keep her healthy. Keep her cancer-free. I know you healed her of that bladder cancer. We pray that she remains cancer-free. Now, Lord, we pray for her family. We pray for her children. We pray for Amy and Katie and John, Michael and Philip. We pray, dear Lord, that you keep them healthy and strong and growing in faith in you. We pray especially for Philip, Lord. He needs some help. He needs help making good decisions in his life. We pray that you send him the Holy Spirit to help him with that. We pray for that. Amen. Well, Lord, we also pray for Katie's uh, uh, husband, Andy, and their two children. And uh, we pray that you keep them healthy and safe. And by the way, Ruthie is traveling right now uh, to visit Katie and Andy and the two uh, grandchildren, Lord. We, we pray for safe travels for, uh, for Ruthie. We pray for that. Now, Lord, we pray for Ruthie's husband, Phil. We pray for her brother, Danny. And we pray for her niece, Trisha, and her family, Matthew and Kevin. And we, Ruthie asks to pray for Patsy and her husband, her husband has Alzheimer's disease, Lord, and we pray that you have mercy on that family. Well, Karen Valentesis asked to pray for her family, Lord, and we pray that you help them out with any struggles they may have and that you send them the Holy Spirit to help them along. We also pray for the Pentelis family, the Tabas family, Lee and Teresa's family, the Zagrianas family, Camina's family, Verdera's family, and the Lavanos family. Lord, we pray for these families. Keep them all healthy and strong. We pray for Father Dimitri Nikolodakis, Father Dimitri Constantine, Father Joe Di Stefano, Father Daniel Rohan, Father Steve Dinas, Father Daniel Biantoro, and Father John. We pray for these peace, priests, for their uh, ministries, their health, and their families, Lord. And we pray especially for Father John, who had that stroke. We pray, dear Lord, that he has a full recovery. We pray for the parishes of St. Demetrios in Warren, Ohio. That's Karen's parish. St. George's in Maslin, Ohio. St. Nicholas Parish in Youngstown, Ohio. Archangel Michael Parish in Campbell, Ohio. St. John the Forerunner Parish in Youngstown, Ohio. At Holy Assumption Church in Little Rock, Arkansas. We pray for these parishes, Lord. That they flourish and they grow and that they continue to do your work. We pray for that. And uh, Lord, we, now we pray for Karen Kalanovich's parish, Prophet Elias Parish in Santa Cruz, California. We pray for Doug and Claudia DeRosa uh, uh, Parish, the Nativity of Christ Parish in Youngstown, Ohio. We pray for uh, All Saints of America Parish in uh, Homer, Alaska. That's Ken and Nancy's uh, parish, Lord. We pray for these parishes, that they flourish and that they grow as well and continue to do your work. Well, Lord, we pray for Christina Hunter. She has the flu, so we pray that you uh, get her over that quickly. And uh, she has a full recovery. We also pray for her children. We pray, dear Lord, for her uh, new business, for its success. We pray for Christina's uh, parents, Tamara and Doran Nell. We pray for their health. And Lord, we pray that for their safety. Uh, they live over in Romania, and things in that part of the world are not really too peaceful right now. So we pray for them. 
And we pray for uh, Christina's friend Julie, who had that hip replacement. We pray for a full recovery for her. We pray for Basili Johnson and Marcus. We pray for them. And we pray for Patricia and her family. Patricia is uh, losing her memory, Lord. And we pray that you restore it and have mercy on that family. So there we go. And now let's go around and see if there's any other prayer requests. And I think we do. <laughs> and let me see. I've got to go up here. I think. Yeah, oh, there's Sharon Toby. Good evening. Family members, healthy and safe. Keep healthy and safe. Amen. And Anna has asked us to pray for Vivian. And Vivian says, thank you for your prayers, and please pray for her healing from that car accident back in November. Yes, she's got multiple broken bones going through healing and has quite a bit of pain at times. Thank you so much. And We've been praying for Vivian. She had that cancer that's in remission. And uh, we pray, dear Lord, for her recovery. Amen. From that accident, the car accident. And Anna Gennaro says, out of context, but quite funny. My three-year-old grandson, Finn, after playing in his room for an hour, comes out and says, oh, I'm fed up with this epic battle. <laughs> three-year-old little boy, fed up with this epic battle. And let me see here, over here. Oh, Jonah, Jonah Poland is with us. Good evening. Ahava means love, I think, in Hebrew. Good to see you, Jonah. Good to see you. And Jonah says, don't worry. Much love to all of you. Amen. And Catherine Houston, good evening, everyone. I've missed much this week with my house guest, guest cousin John. We'll watch the recording. Blessings, prayer, family. Amen. Say hello to John for us. Okay. One more quick look. So, Lord, we ask that you have mercy on all those that we have prayed for this evening. We pray that you extend your healing hands on all those who are suffering physically, emotionally, and spiritually. We ask you for your healing, your grace, and your love as we give you our love. Amen. And we pray that your Holy Mother, the Most Holy Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, remembers us and our prayer intentions and her prayers when we pray. And we pray that our Saint of the Day, Saint Stephen, we pray to your Lord that he remembers us and our prayer intentions and his prayers when he prays. Amen. O Holy Father, Heavenly Physician of our souls and bodies, who sent your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to heal all our ailments and deliver us from death. Visit and heal your service, Lord, all those that we have prayed for this evening. We ask that you grant them release from pain and return to health and vigor, that they may give thanks unto you and uh, bless your holy name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and on to the ages of ages. Amen. Well, folks, uh, Robin and I will see you again tomorrow morning for morning prayers. That's 8 a.m. Eastern Time here in the U.S. And then we'll be right back here tomorrow night uh, for our Wednesday night Bible study on the Gospel Minute Live. And that's at 9 p.m. And we're still in, still in Chapter 3, picking up at verse 22 of St. John's Gospel. And so we'll see how far that brings us. And um, yeah, that chapter four is a chapter that should stand all on its own. So I don't know if we're going to 
get all the way to if if we finish early we may just finish early because i want to start chapter four on its own but at any rate until until tomorrow may god bless us all now let's have a great evening oh 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 remember two things one god loves you and he really 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 does and two we all love one another and we really 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 do now May God bless us all. Let's have a great evening. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.